Okay, this is like a really quick video of what I got today. Uh, basically, I spent $445 on the stuff that you see here. Um, that's like a jacket. That's kind of fun. Um, Toolkit. And about... Oh, and I got this painting too. Uh, anyway, I'm just going to go through it super quick. Um, 300 of what I spent was on uh, DVDs. And you can see boxes, boxes. I got like three boxes. Over 300 DVDs and CDs uh, mix and match. Um, but I'm just going to go through everything quick. I got some old school games. I got a Pikachu. Uh, Pikachu. I don't know. Pikachu. I don't know what that was. At. Um, Donkey Kong 64. Mario Party 3. Super Mario 64. Charlie Blast. Territory. Mario Party 2. Um, Banjo Kazooie. Zelda. These labels on these were worn, but I don't really care. As long as one or two of the games works, everything's good. Uh, got kind of a discolored. Uh, N64 controller, but I need one. I have all these N64 systems with no controllers right now. Uh, I got a couple of Game Boy Advance games, Sonic Advance, Mario Kart. I paid between 3 and 5 This is a Mario Kart Super Circuit, Drawn to Life, Mario and Sonic Ultra games, um, Hey Bay Play, oops, dropping stuff. Uh, let's pick that up quick. Oh. It's just... ah, I'll just go on, I'll get it later. I got Final Fantasy 13. Resistance, Fall of Man. Okay, there's more games I got. Call of Duty, World of War, Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare, uh, Lord of the Rings Conquest, Call of Duty Black Ops, Heroes Over Europe. These are Xbox 360s. Indiana Jones, Kung Fu Panda, Combination FIFA Sock. I paid $3 a piece for these games, so they were a good deal. Um, Civilization Revolution, PS... Uh, this is Where did that go? PS, PS 2009. That's a soccer. That's the only sports games I generally buy. Soccer. People like that. I got uh, The Godfather 2, Gears of War, Star Wars Force Unleashed 2, Prince of Persia, and South Africa. Another soccer one. Got two pieces of miscellaneous jewelry. Cufflink, Playboy cufflinks and a watch. Nothing really special. Um, continuing with what I got today, I got a Verizon Blitz phone for $10. Um, these are good for me to either use as backup phones or I'll sell it. You know? I haven't decided what, uh, what I'm going to do with it yet. This is nice. This is a Rosenthal Netter, Boz. These are good. I only paid a dollar for this. Uh, this is probably worth, I don't know, maybe as much as a hundred or so. I'm not really sure, but people do want Rosenthal Netters. Okay, uh, continuing on. In this box, there's more DVDs and DVD sets. Uh, this is also something really nice I got. This is a Made in Japan. Probably from the 1920s, closing a vase. I only paid two dollars for this. It looks like it's in pretty good shape, and I'm not really sure what this is worth, but I'm sure it's worth. I mean, if I rough guess it, I'm 75 to 125. This I bought because it was fun. It's a J Lo j denim jacket. Uh, awesome. I paid five bucks for it. I have no clue what I'll sell it for, but it's fun as hell. Then I got this jeweler set. Wait for the truck to go by. I've never had one of these, but this one's old. Uh, it's got dovetails. Pretty nice. Paid ten bucks for it. I'm gonna find out what I'll get for it. And the last thing that I can show you that I got today, and again, like I said, I paid uh, 400 and, I don't know, let me just double check, 400, $445 for everything, right, uh, was this Lee Reynolds paintings. He's actually a, a real artist uh, from the 60s, 70s, popular. This is a large abstract one. I only paid 20 bucks, not sure what I'm going to get, but it should be more than 100 You know, maybe, uh, I think he lists anywhere from hundreds to thousands, but... So that's that. And for my friend who likes DVDs, look, I'll see you tomorrow. And you can go through all the DVDs that I have and, and pick what you want if you come early. Make sure you come early. And uh, that's it.